Hello, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'll be showing you how to make a simple paper rose. The template and materials are listed below. You could also make these hand cut with the template for those that don't have a machine. In my other rose tutorial and template, I make them petal by petal to make a fuller looking rose, but I was trying to come up with a simpler one with less layers, and this one just requires four flower pieces, and you could adjust the sizes to make smaller ones like a bud with the same flower shape that comes with the template. This makes it much easier and faster to make, but again, they aren't as full looking, so maybe you could mix and match some looking fuller and some looking simpler. Take the first two pieces together and curl in each petal. You could also use a glue stick or a pencil to curl them. Be gentle enough so you don't tear any petals. Once you have them curled in, leave one of the pieces to the side and only take one piece and curl the tips of the petals out. These petals are kind of like a heart shape, so I like to curl them out on the corner scallops. Next, take the bigger two pieces and gently curl each petal in, in like the first ones. You could do this one flower at a time, but I felt this would be half the work if I stack them and curl them together. Gently pull them apart and take one flower at a time and curl the tips of the flowers out. These are the outer layers of the rose, so you'll want it to be more curled out than the first. You could also make these roses more closed looking, and if you want it to be less bloomed, then you could curl less than I am doing here. I also like to mix and match these roses, having some closed and some more bloomed looking. Then poke a hole through the center of each flower in the center. Then grab floral wire. It could be any wire, but I like to use this brown one that I'll be linking below. Use pliers to curl the tip on one side of the wire so that the flower has a place to anchor to the wire. Poke the wire through the smallest piece that hasn't been curled out. Glue the curled tip and attach to the flower. Then I like to roll up one of the petals as tight as I can and glue it to itself. Then go around in a circle and glue each petal on top of the first one. I add the glue somewhere in the middle of the petal to make sure it is gluing onto the petal. Once you are on your third and fourth petal, slowly make sure it is loosely wrapped around the previous one so there are little gaps to see the bud inside. Then take the second piece and crisscross to the first layer and glue each petal in the middle of the petal. This piece has the petals slightly curled out on the tips, so it should gradually look like the petals are blooming out. I'm also just going around in the circle starting at any petal. Then attach the third piece the same way. This piece is now working in five, so make sure all the five petals will go around in the circle and fit accordingly. Again, this is optional, but if you want it to look less bloom, you could have each petal less curled out, but I'm curling them out a lot more here.
Now take the last piece and glue the same way. I also make sure the last petal fits and tuck into the flower pieces so they are all going the same direction. Next add the bottom leaf piece to hide any messiness from the glue. Then make some leaves. I wasn't able to film this part, but you could find how the leaves are made in the other rose tutorial. You simply take two of the same leaf shape and sandwich a wire piece in between. I'll be linking it below. Floral tape the rose and attach the leaves a little below the flower head. I love to make these during Valentine's Day, Mother's Day. They're also perfect for wedding bouquets and more. If you want the rose to look fuller, you can check my other rose version tutorial that I'll be linking below. Please like this video below and subscribe. Thank you for watching.